on? Is it on? Hi, this is Carl. Big agenda today. Ignacio's out today, so I'm filming this myself. Camera stuff may not be great. That was the wind, ignore that. You may have noticed that I'm sporting an eye patch today because I just felt like being a pirate. No, it's, uh, I just had a little injury recently. It's actually very sensitive to light right now. Like you can even see I'm inside. We're gonna roll with the eye patch. If you don't like pirates, then turn this off and go hide your treasure. Go hide that booty. Ah! All right, all right, okay, okay, I know, we have, I know. As you know, when I do the question of the day, I like to tackle the crucial issues, the things that really matter. Today, the question is, what is the correct way to pronounce the word syrup? Syrup or syrup? The last time I checked, which was about, I would say 20, 25 minutes ago, it was 17 to five in favor of syrup. Like, like syrup, like semen. Get your head out of the gutter. 17 to 5, I, I need some new friends. Clearly they're broken, or 17 of them are broken. It's only been out for a few hours, so, you know, hopefully we can turn this around. Syrup? No, like, come on, come on. Is it a prank? Like, a good one. Everybody knows it's syrup. If you think that I'm a dumb, uneducated kumquat, uh, and it actually is syrup, if that's what you think and believe with all your heart, that's what you're most passionate about in this lifetime. Definitely, you know, speak your mind, wave your flag, but also don't be afraid to agree with me. Um, especially if you like being right. So anyway, concerning the topic of this video, I was thinking, in these trying times, what can I bring to the table? Literally, the table. I'm sitting at a kitchen table. What do we desperately need most in the world right now? Um, another unqualified joker predicting the 2020 NBA playoffs. So I'm going to do it as if the playoffs were to start today if only, with the current standings, one through eight as they are right now. We now know that they'll be doing eight regular season games in Orlando for 22 of the 30 teams. So in all likelihood, the seeding won't actually end up being like this, but I'm gonna do this anyway because I feel like it. So you're welcome. The alternative would be just to wait until probably the end of August or thereabouts to actually determine the seeding and stuff. We're not about that. We're gonna live in the moment instead of just thinking about August, okay? August, let's slow our roll here. And I guess when that time comes, we'll just have to do another one. I just, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Um, just a heads up because I'm an ignorant whore and I forgot to mention it originally. We're going to predict the playoffs using the current standings and seedings but we're going to do it assuming that every game will be played uh, with no fans in a neutral environment with no home court advantage factoring in. All right, carry on. Let's get to it. Let's spank this bracket. No doubt, congrats to the Grizzlies who surprised a lot of people, definitely including me. I certainly wouldn't have thought that they would be anywhere near the playoffs over the Spurs, over the Lasers. Pelicans, you gotta give them respect. I don't know who the f the coach is, but that dude's earning his keep. Give him an extension. I hope Ja Morant wins Rookie of the Year. They have a lot to be proud of, and it's not just Ja Morant. It's how cohesively they've been functioning. It's how they stood up to Andre Iguodala. Lakers in four. Not only Lakers in four, none of the four games will be closed. Congratulations to the Dallas Mavericks on also having a terrific season. Definitely exceeding expectations. Again, certainly mine. Porzingis and Luka Doncic have been a great duo. The Clippers are advancing, but I don't think this is going less than six games, especially if you give due credit to the Mavericks. Clippers in six. The Nuggets and the Rockets. This is the what the f*** is going to happen series in the West. I would love the Rockets to advance. Harden and Westbrook are amazing individually. And I know they've played with each other in the past, but I, the Rockets are, in my opinion, absolutely the more fun team to watch. I, I don't think the Rockets are gonna win this series. Westbrook is the most entertaining player to watch. He gives us all every night. That's, that's the first thing everybody says about him. And it's very true. Harden acts like playing defense is beneath him, but no one can deny he's an amazing offensive talent. He's also very exciting to watch. Um, and the Rockets have shooters. This is gonna be a long series, um, no matter who wins. It's easier for me to imagine the Nuggets surprising everyone and winning the series than it is for, for me to imagine Westbrook and Harden clicking uh, enough and quickly enough to overcome. The Denver Nuggets are not a joke. They may be a young team, but they were, they were a game away from the conference finals last year. And if they had made the conference finals instead of the Blazers, the Warriors would have beaten them, but that would have been
been a five or six game series, not a sweep. I hope I'm wrong, but I'm taking Nuggets in seven. You know, when average Joes are giving their NBA series predictions, they like to say shit. Like, well, Giannis is gonna give him a game, like, like, or Harden's gonna go off and he's gonna get him one or two. You know, it is conceivable that a player can have an amazing game and still lose. Like, just because a just because a team has an elite superstar player who's capable of getting 40 or 50, like Damian Lillard or LeBron or Curry, Durant, Clay Thompson. Come on, man, that's not saying anything. What would actually be saying something is if it was a player like Curry or LeBron, when they play well, their team plays well because they share and they're good passers and that's the kind of leader that they are. You can't say that about Kyrie Irving, you can't say that about Westbrook, you can't say that about Harden. All of those guys could go off. I have the Jazz in this series. With all due respect to Chris Paul, good leadership deserves recognition and his leadership has made much more of a difference uh, than anyone thought. The Thunder are, the, I think, the biggest surprise in the West. I also don't think this will be a quick series. The Jazz, in the, well, the last few years, with with their squad, with the Stifle Tower, Rudy Gobert, um, Donovan Mitchell, and Joel Ingles always seems to hit uh, big shots and big moments. Uh, they never seem to choke. I'm going Jazz in six. <sighs> oh, real coin flip. Bucks in a tightly contested seven game series. Ah, can you imagine? The Nets? I think I'd rather watch paint dry. It's like they and the Cavs are competing for the ugliest uniform award instead of the championship trophy. Corny ass graffiti anime crap. What's that supposed to be? What's next, tie-dye shirts? Don't they think their teams have suffered enough? Do we have to spend time on this one? You answer that, what do you think? What chance do I think the Sixers have? I do know a Sixer fan or two, so I'll be diplomatic here. None. Two years ago, the Celtics won four to one. Sixers have Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, who don't play well together. No JJ Redick, no Jimmy Butler. The Celtics are the more cohesive team. The Celtics have the better coach. The Celtics are gonna shove that Liberty Bell so far with the Sixers. Sixers have gotten worse, the Celtics have gotten better. Celtics in five, next. The Heat and the Pacers. Probably the only East first round matchup that could go either way. Uh, I really like what I've seen from Jimmy Butler this year. Not only has he, has he been doing well on the court, but he seems to be a great leader and a great locker room presence. I think this one goes all seven. I'm gonna say the Heat win four to three. I'll be rooting for the Jazz in this series. Yeah, I said it. I certainly don't think the Jazz will win this series, but I would like to be wrong about that. It could be a sweep, uh, but I think it's more likely to go six than to go four. The Jazz have great shot makers. The Jazz just play well together. I like seeing the ball movement. They're cohesive like the Celtics are in the East. They really do have the talent to compete in the Western Conference. I think Lakers in five. The Clippers will take at least six games to beat the Mavericks. The Nuggets are gonna need probably seven, maybe six games to beat the Rockets. I don't think the Nuggets are, are gonna go quietly. Clippers in seven. I'll be rooting for the Heat the whole way. That will make no difference. Bucks are definitely the better team. I don't think it will be a sweep. Um, I think that it will take the Bucks five or six games to eliminate the Heat. Uh, I'm gonna give the Heat due respect and the nod to Jimmy Butler. I think the Heat can actually get two games against the Bucks, but I won't go further than that. Congrats to the Heat on a great season. Bucks win 4-2. This should be an entertaining series. Both teams will be pushing through with, I think, a little resistance in the first round. The Raptors will definitely give the Celtics a better fight than the dysfunctional Sixers. I think the series goes the distance, and I think the Celtics are the better team, so I'm gonna say Celtics in seven. Plenty of the sports analysts on TV insisting that the conf the Western Conference Finals must be the Lakers and the Clippers. Who gives a sh which round they play? I want to see them too, but like it doesn't need to be. It could be in the first round for all I care. Uh, I don't think that'd be anticlimactic. That would mean we'd get a different Western Conference Finals than we all think we will. Who doesn't like a little bit of intrigue? So now we have the last two teams standing in the West, LA Lakers and the LA Clippers. Uh, it is the Western Conference Finals matchup we all wanted to see. Everyone's been talking about that. It's always hard to bid against LeBron, but he is going up against Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. And not only do they have a ferocious supporting cast, uh, Montrez Harrell, Lou Williams, Patrick Beverly, I think the Clippers are going to win this series. Um, it's not because I'm a LeBron hater. Hate him if you want to, but you should at least respect him. Um, 
especially considering that he's playing at the level that he's been playing this year. He's 35. It's, it's record-breaking, and frankly, I, I hope he's around for a, a long time to come. I, like almost everyone else, cannot imagine this being a short series. Uh, this has to go a minimum of six games. Um, I'm going to have it go the full seven just because I, it's just hard to imagine either of these teams losing, but one of them has to advance and one of them has to be eliminated. Um, I got the Clippers in seven. One thing I'll be watching for is how much the Lakers play Rondo. They hadn't been playing him that much in the regular season. Rondo on the Lakers, it's dumb. He went to two NBA Finals as a Celtic against the Lakers both times. Apparently he'll play for anyone. He's supposed to bleed Celtic green. I mean, like it's one thing for Brandon Bass to go from the Celtics to the Lakers, even though it's still unusual for any player to do that. You can't sign that contract. Obviously, he's not a good shooter, and that is one of the Lakers' major issues is that they, they have Danny Green and like maybe Alex Caruso, but like they're not loaded with sharp shooters. Make no mistake, they're not perfect. They have gaps in their armor, and uh, Doc Rivers is also a better coach than Frank Vogel. Make of that what you will, uh, but as far as coaching, the Clippers definitely have the advantage. I would predict that not playing Rondo would hurt the Lakers um, just because of his decision making and, and because of the playoff Rondo that has, that has it's been a thing that's emerged the last couple of years. Uh, obviously he was good in Boston, but even with Chicago and with New Orleans, he was racking up assists, especially with the Pelicans. Uh, go look at his numbers in the in the sweep against the Blazers, and, and then they, Lost to the Warriors in five in the in the second round, but he really made a difference. They, they I don't think the Pelicans would have beaten the Blazers last, uh, two years ago in 2018 uh, if Rondo hadn't been playing, um, and they swept them. But we'll see. It's a chemistry matters too. Kawhi Leonard's defense might well be the difference in this series. I've got the Clippers beating the Lakers four to three to win the West. <laughs>us to the East Finals, which would be the Bucks hosting the Celtics. I think the Celtics can beat the Bucks. I actually think the Celtics will beat the Bucks. I trust uh, in Brad Stevens' ability to develop and execute a game plan to effectively limit Giannis to the degree they need to win the series. You can't totally stop Giannis, but you can manipulate who takes the shots, and I, I've seen the Celtics uh, execute really well, especially for a relatively young team. And we know the Bucks have the best player in the series, but who has the next like five best players? It's the Celtics. We're talking about Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Gordon Hayward, Marcus Smart, Kemba Walker. The Celtics are deeper. The Celtics have the better coach. The Bucks could win. I don't think that's more likely. They'll be the favorite. Celtics win the East four to two. So that would make the 2020 NBA Finals the Clippers and the Celtics. The Celtics making their first f NBA Finals appearance in 10 years, and the Clippers making their first NBA Finals, period. Doc Rivers will be co back coaching in the Finals. It'll be Brad Stevens' first time in the Finals and the furthest he's ever advanced as a coach. These are both such good teams and deep teams. When I think of how deep both these teams are, it really is difficult to imagine either one of them winning in, in, in four or five but I think this is the Clippers' time. It is hard to bet, to bet against what Kawhi can do offensively and defensively. We watched him all last year. I know that was with a different team against different opponents, different coach uh, for Kawhi, different supporting cast, um, but that was only one year ago. Kawhi still has all those abilities. It hurts me to pick against the Celtics, but I'm making these picks as if my life depends on being right not who I want to win. I think the Clippers win the 2020 NBA Finals 4-2. to LA Clippers 2020 NBA Champions. It always sucks when you're inside in the office. You look out the window and you see how nice of a day it is and you're stuck inside. One of these videos I'm gonna be outside, get a few more freckles, possibly get burned to a crisp. See if Hank down on the first floor forgets to lock the fire exit and I can kind of sneak out that way. It'll be our secret. Okay, they have somebody coming in here, so I have to get out of here. I have to wrap it up. But uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Do something small for someone else today. Make someone's day. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Oh, that's still going. I'm missing Nacio.